Well, I am commencing to gear up here and go cut down some more trees for Victor. It appears that we will have enough wood after all because that, uh, that second bin that they brought, the wood is smaller so it is yielding more sign wood. And we're pretty happy to be able to finish this job. But this is a nice little job. It's not a lot of trees. Uh, the guy, uh, the manager, <laughs> he came out and said, well, it's not as many trees as I thought. It's only about 3,000 trees. And, uh, well, I'm going to count them because uh, always count your trees, man. Always count your graphs because uh, yeah, that's your that's your that's your bottom line right there, you know. That's uh, that's your paycheck. So you don't ever leave that in somebody else's hands. I always count my trees, and you should too. Had a couple of interesting phone calls. Um, one guy called me a couple of days ago. I've been trying to break away and go see him, and I just can't. He's about an hour hour from here. I just haven't been able to get get out of here. I've been trying to keep wood, uh, wood cut for Victor, keep him moving. But um, he said they, he left a message and said he had some uh, grafting opportunities. <laughs> I called him about some grafting opportunities. When I called him, I said, opportunities for who? For you or for me? Because I've had a lot of grafting opportunities. He started laughing. He, well, they grow up. Uh, they grow uh, medicinal herbs, he says. So I thought I was gonna be grafting marijuana plants maybe, but he said, no, no, that's what everybody thinks, but it's some Chinese herbs, and he rattled off a couple names, and they don't mean anything to me. But I've never done anything like that before, and it'd be kind of interesting. I, I'd like to go talk to the guy. He has one species that, or one clone, that, uh, kind of grows out on the ground and then he's got another one that grows more upright in a bush shape and he wants to grab the, the one on the ground because it has the better properties and and grab that onto the bush type to make it easier to harvest their berries or whatever it is. So uh, he's only got a hundred plants. I just can't take a crew down there. I can't uh, for a hundred plants. I, I told him, I said, I, I just couldn't charge you enough to do that It'd be ridiculous why don't I just come down myself and and uh, you know you can pay me whatever you think it's worth and I'll spend an hour with you and kind of give you some pointers and learn some things myself and and uh, you know we'll go from there I can set him up with the materials the tape and paint that he needs and show him how to make a grafting knife that'll work for him and I think I can can uh, benefit him with some instructions and I may even waive my fee on that you know I've just never been the kind of guy that just has to have every nickel I can get there's guys like that out there but um, but that's not me um, so uh, in the interest of learning something myself doing something new I may go I'll go talk to that guy and not even charge me anything well I have two more rounds to go down and back those two and down and back these two then I'm gonna go over in that nursery row over there and cut down about 20 trees and grab them for uh, replacements because they got some missing trees out there and what it is is the gophers they got a gopher problem and uh, you know I can't make them grow if they don't have any roots on them so when we find one if you're out there grafting and it wobbles a little bit you can just pull it right out of the ground because the roots are all eaten off the bottom of it. So we try to pull them out instead of grafting them because I can't be responsible for their their rodent problem. Um, anyway, we're going to make some replacement trees and then they can fill in the gaps. And old Victor, boy, I don't know, he may get this done today. I uh, haven't even looked at the clock and see what time it is. 103 man he's gonna be close he may work a little bit late and finish it but we got one guy that's leaving at four he decided he wants to get married so he's got a bit to church every night at six this week and I guess he wants to shower up or something before he goes you know 
<laughs> Victor told him, he said, you know that truck you're driving, that new truck, you're going to make payments for about five years? Yeah. He said, well, when you get married, you're going to make them payments the rest of your life. <laughs> anyway, old Victor, he's, uh, he's not gaining on me, but he's not losing any ground either between him and George out there. They're, uh, they're flat putting in the sticks, man. Uh, so I got to get this cut down and then get back over there and count behind them get caught up on my counting and I'd really like to get over and start chainsawing on that next job that we're going to do tomorrow but I don't know I don't know if I'll make it we'll see I may go out here and help these guys uh, for a while I may go graft a little while or I may uh, wrap for him whatever he needs he probably needs a taper and uh, I'm a wrap a hoe so we'll get her figured out I'll do another, do another round with you. I'll hang with you one more time. I'll hang with you, dog. Polito ma chiquita, cortar el mal largo. Si o no? Uh-huh. Exacto. Oh, you killed me, Victor. You killed me, dog. <laughs> Stop it. I'm tired and I laugh at everything. Dirt. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, it is four o'clock and this job is done. We got here at eight, it's four now. And so in two days, we did 3,491. Rogelio told me there was 3,000. 
but uh, it's funny he don't want to pay me but he's paying a guy the gas and a guy to ride a four-wheeler out here and count these trees because he doesn't trust me and uh, it's just some of the little irritations that you put up with or well once you put up with it once I won't work for the guy again I only work for people that I really really like and that list gets shorter every year so uh, this is the last go around for this guy but uh, anyway uh, Victor's got our guys out there walking these rows every row and checking the little tips on these graphs because every single one of them has to be painted or it will die so uh, that's our responsibility and we uh, we're gonna uh, take care of our responsibility so uh, pretty good little job 3,491 trees in two days not too bad for a crew of four we uh, had one guy didn't come back yesterday it was just too much for him and uh, so uh, we found another guy this morning but I've been out here bending over these things most of the day doing some uh, taping and it's just not the same as it was 30 years ago I don't know what happened but anyway I've been doing it because it just needed to be done Victor was shorthanded so uh, anyway the job's done and uh, I've already got the next one lined up we'll be on it tomorrow morning and I think that's about all there is to say about these. Uh, he's got some rodents out here, some gopher problems, and oh, I talked about that earlier. Okay, I think we're done here. I guess you can tell this uh, this manager kind of kind of irritates me a little bit. <laughs> Uh, but the bill's going to be on what I count. I've walked every row out here and counted every trees and separated out the two signers from the one signers. And that's what I don't care what this count, what this guy comes up with. The bill's going to be uh, based on my count. And uh, that's where that's at.